What's up everyone? Hopper here and I'm back with another repair. Today we're going to try and resurrect Sega Saturn. <laughs> Uh, this one come in, uh, won't read discs. I hooked it up and it won't read discs. So we're going to see if we can't change a laser out on this. And I'll tear it down and show you how to change the laser and see if we can resurrect this, this guy and get him going. They said it's been sitting for about five years. Wouldn't, they couldn't get it to do and read any discs, so it, it just got thrown in the closet and that's where it sat. And now they're ready to start playing their Saturn again. So let's see what we can do. Let's go downstairs, get this tore down, and see what we can do with it. All right, our Sega Saturn here. Let's uh, let's get the top off of this guy and get her going. Get her. See what we can find out about it. All right, now there's one, two, three, four. Five screws that got to come out, and I'll go ahead and take all these out, and we'll come back and I'll. All right, now after you have your five screws out, I didn't think you really needed to see me unscrew five screws. I think everybody knows how to take out a screw. Now we'll just lift our top off, and your little expansion door will come off right with it, and set that off to the side. Now, when I was looking at this earlier and testing it out to see what it was doing, I did notice that it seemed like the the disc was dragging. With the disc on there, you can see it doesn't turn. It drags. So what I come up with is if you look right down along there see the, the spindle motor isn't above the this uh, black housing and the disc is rubbing on it so I removed it and it didn't make a make a difference so we're gonna take off this little housing there's a clip on either side here here and there and you can lift that right up and off so the disc was rubbing right on right on this rim it's like the spindle motors down too far and what I'm guessing is somebody pushed the push pushed the disc down on it too hard now to re remove the laser assembly take off this tether either you, you can either call it a grounding strap or a tether to me it's more like a tether so if you take it apart and turn it upside down, that'll catch it before it pulls on the cords. Okay, unplug your power cord here and pull off your information cable. Those just slide right down in, same with the power cable. And now you can pull this whole assembly right up out of there. Set that off to the side. Now, to remove the laser, these are these are one of the easiest ones I have found. All right, a little better angle here. You can see where your guide rod comes through, goes through your laser, and up front here comes through this little white plastic retainer here. Now there's a little clip. Let's see this little clip right, right here, holding that guide rod in. All you have to do is get a hold of your guide rod, push that over a little bit, and get your get your guide rod started past it. Once you do that, just bring your guide rod right through, pull them out, and undo your your cable. And there's your, there's your laser. That's the old laser. Now we'll get our new laser out.
and see what all we have to change on it. Take off the old laser and put on the new one. Okay, there's our new laser and here's our old laser. We gotta have this rat gear on there. And we'll take a peek and there's just clips underneath that just very easily unhook those little clips and she'll come right up off of there and one more clip in the back get him started down through there and there's our rat gear Take him and transfer him right, right over to the new laser. Clip him right down on there. Now I looked all over this new laser and I did not see an anti-static point that needs to be unsoldered. So we'll bring our deck back over. Get our cable plugged in. Now we'll take our guide rod and get him started in there. Hook your one, hook the one side of the laser on that side of the guide rail. And get him started. from all the way in until that clip holds it and there's our laser, our new laser installed. I'll straighten up a little bit, get the deck back up here and we'll start putting her back together. Alright now, I found it easier. Now before we put that back in there, I want to look at, let's check out this motor spindle motor. Let's check out the spindle motor and see why it's sitting down so far. You know, she's not... nothing's broke down through or anything. I'm just wondering if somebody uh, didn't push a disc down on it too hard. See, because that'll go all the way down. I'm going to leave it right there until I get that cover back on and then I can see where I really need to put that. Now, what I have found is to put this cable on before you set the, the deck back in. There's not a whole heck of a lot of room down in there for fat fingers. Or 
grounding strap, whatever the hell you want to call it, I don't care. Plug in our power. Okay, find our little little screw for that tether. Fingers aren't working that great tonight. There we go. Now, let's put this cover on. Just snaps into place. Like so. You can see that's up pretty high. So let's just see if we can't push him down just a little bit. As you can see, let me, it's just above. Okay, let's get her put back together and get her tested and see if we cured the problem. Okay, we've got her all put back together, and as you can see, I'm going to have to change the, the battery for the date and all that. That one's about crapped out. So, we'll get through this real quick. Let's get a disc in her and see what she does. Oh, push the wrong damn button. Take two. <laughs> Let's get a disc in it. And, no. So far, so good. Loading it. And there she is. Brand new laser. Moved up that uh, platform on the spindle motor a little bit so it wouldn't, so the disc wouldn't rub on that housing. And it looks like we have resurrected another old system. Now on these lasers, I usually have to order them from eBay and get them usually from China. Is usually where I have to get them, get them from. Well, you're not going to watch me play because I'm no damn good at these, so I can fix them, but I sure to hell can't play. What? As you can see. Let's go back up top and we'll finish up on this. Alright, so you see, now we've resurrected another another oldie but goodie. Sega Saturn. That was my last new laser I had for Saturn, so I did order some more and it looks like they won't be in until the 16th. So hopefully I don't get anything in till then that I need to fix on a Saturn. So, that looks like that's what I've got for you today. So remember, 
Happy retro gaming. Love these old systems. Till next time.